In this video, we'll explore how Remind's auto messaging feature can enhance your school communication and walk through step-by-step -step how to set up your first auto message. Auto messaging is a premium advanced messaging feature available for rostered organizations on the Remind plan. Auto messaging allows you to automatically send messages to students and parents using data from your student information system. With auto messages, you can send out a one-time message, send out your message periodically, or choose to set up a recurring message at designated times. You can even customize Remind auto messages by incorporating student-specific information from your SIS, such as student name or number of absences. Why might you want to set up an auto message? While a school-wide announcement in Remind is a great way to tell your community about a school event, an auto message can get the word out on more specific communication needs to a designated group of students and parents. If you'd like, you can send the same content on a recurring schedule. For example, you could set a weekly auto message to inform students about their lunch money balance, remind them about overdue library books, or send daily notifications about attendance to absent students and their parents. Now that you've got a sense of how auto messaging can streamline school communication, let's walk through getting one set up. In order to take advantage of this feature, you'll want to make sure that your school or district has completed rostering and has the ability to set up a recurring SFTP transfer from your SIS or other data source if you want to send recurring messages. To begin, log into your school or district admin remind account. You can send auto messages to your entire district or just one school. So start by selecting your desired organization on the left hand side. Then choose the setting tab and click auto messaging from the options to the left. Click the blue button in the top right that says new auto message. From here, Give your auto message a name. This is only for organizational purposes and will only be visible by you and your fellow admins. Double check you're setting it up for your desired school and click Create Draft. Next up, you'll get your CSV export ready. If you need to, you can download a template here. Note that every CSV for auto messages require student numbers with the header student underscore number. This should be the same identifier you used when rostering your students. The student number will not appear in your message. This is just used to determine who the message goes to. To customize your message with additional features, you can add additional columns for any custom data you want to include, such as number of absences or student name. These fields will auto-populate into your message with the content you provide in your CSV. Enter the CSV file name, making sure it matches exactly to the file name you will be exporting so that Remind knows what CSV file to expect. Click Save and Continue and head to the next step. Here, you'll set up a file transfer to Remind via SFTP. Remind will create a set of SFTP credentials that are different from the ones you use from rostering. If you've saved the username and password from previously generated credentials, you can choose one from the drop-down list. Or click Create a new set of credentials and give it a name. Make sure to save it if you plan on using these credentials in the future. These credentials will be entered directly into your SIS or SFTP client depending on your district's technical capabilities. We'll use a common SFTP client, Cyberduck, to demonstrate a file transfer to Remind via SFTP. Open up your SFTP client and copy and paste the credentials generated in your Remind account. You'll copy the URL, port, username, and password. Note that if you want to set up a recurring auto message, you'll need to configure the appropriate settings in your SIS or FTP client. Once your auto message is active, it will be sent every time the CSV with the matching file name is transferred to Remind. 
Next up, the Compose Message page is where you decide exactly how you want your auto message to appear. You can choose to send it as a normal message or an urgent message. You can customize which admin appears as the sender and select if you would like the message to go to students only, parents only, or both. In the message content box, compose your auto message. If your CSV includes any customized data, you'll want to type the name of the column header enclosed by two curly brackets on either side. Make sure all your custom fields in the CSV are present in your composed message. For more support on custom fields, check out the Help Center article here. Once you've successfully composed your message, click Save and Continue to preview your message. You can view what the message will look like and can test it out by setting your auto message directly to your own device. Click Activate when you're ready for your message to be live, or click Save Draft to return and finish up later. Once your auto message is active, you can check its status from the Auto Message tab to view time sent and any delivery errors. From the three dots to the right, you can pause the auto message, make edits, or delete the auto message if it's no longer relevant. You can also view and download any uploaded files or view your previously generated SFTP credentials. That's it for setting up auto messages. If your Remind plan does not include auto messaging and you'd like to learn more, reach out to support at remindhq.com.